Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Bootcast with Irish Bootstrapper. I'm your host Eugene Debro and this is Series 3 Episode 10, Voices of the USA with Jaden LeBron. Jaden is a young up and coming voiceover artist and puppeteer based in America. I recently came across him on a BBC feature where he's going for a big role with on The Simpsons. Um, really cool guy, interesting career and something a little bit different to 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 give you some insight into the creative fields and what it what it takes and what's involved in in making it in in America as a as a voiceover artist. Um, so delighted to have Jaden on the show. And without further ado, folks, please welcome Jaden LeBron on the broadcast. Jaden, thanks for coming on the show. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a 21-year-old puppeteer from the real city of Rancho Cucamonga, California. I know it sounds kind of goofy, but um, I'm a voice actor and puppeteer. I've uh, been a professional voice actor for about a year now and a puppeteer since I was six. Uh, I have credits with the Jim Henson Company and uh, recently the YouTube series uh, Hell of a Boss, a very popular animated series where I'll be voicing a cherub named Colin, which was my first cartoon role. Nice, cool. And and how did you get into this kind of career, I suppose? Yeah, um, with voice acting, uh, I had always been doing voices. Um, I mean, for my puppet characters, they all have different voices, so I had to distinguish them because I was their only performer. Mm. Uh, and so um, learning the differences between the voices and the nuances uh, trained me to uh, uh, make it so that the audience didn't at any point point guess that it was just one person doing all these voices okay and you find do you find that hard yourself to like is 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 it a skill to kind of distinguish the the nuances between each voice or can you do it Uh, off the bat yeah like um some of my uh favorite voices uh there's one character that i made up myself called the dad that you might see on my instagram and he sort of just talks like this my boy now <laughs> climb upon my knee young man let me tell you all about the birds and the bees now you see when a bird has sex with the bee oh wrong story you know something like that you see how that was a different voice than my regular voice <laughs> yeah. there's a little tweaking involved and now you've got a different character <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so I, I came across you just on Instagram last week. There was a, a BBC feature that you were you were trying out for um, uh, a role of on The Simpsons. That's right. Wow. So I mean, probably one of the the best cartoon series of all time. Um, yeah, uh, it's so funny because. They announced that the same day uh, Family Guy announced that Cleveland Brown was uh, going to have a different voice actor. And I saw that news first and posted that on my Facebook. And then merely 15 minutes later, they made the Simpsons announcement. And I was going to post a Cleveland Brown video at first, but then the Simpsons news broke. And I thought, you know, that's uh, the bigger fish to fry here. Yeah, jeez. And um, just to give the listeners, what's what's the backstory behind like a change in in the the actors on well, shows like The Simpsons. Yeah, uh, major uh, Hollywood uh, cartoons have decided that uh, the characters of color should be voiced by actors of color, and uh, I personally believe that uh, anyone should be able to play anyone. But where the problem lies is when that so-called anyone tends to be majority white people in the cast. Um, and so I think uh, this move is to diversify their casting and widen their casting pool so that it's not all white voice actors behind the scenes, but also to uh, uh, demonstrate that black voice actors can do just a good uh, of a job doing black characters. That's as, as good a reason as, as anything. Um, yeah. And I suppose like some of the, the household voices behind the the original characters of the Simpsons, like the actors must actually be getting old themselves. So is there kind of a a legacy that they want to pass on to someone? Well, I don't know about that. And I don't want to speculate about uh, um, taking over anyone's characters. Uh, They're all still very um, uh, strong with them, but uh, they are getting old. And I'd hate to think of uh, the day when they do pass on or retire, Mm. but uh, 
you know, if, uh, if they are looking for new talent, then this is certainly a good way to go and uh, reaching out to young blood like myself. And have you, like, have you experienced any kind of like racism or favoritism, <laughs> like towards other races in the voiceover industry? Yeah, so, I wouldn't say favoritism per se, mm-hmm. um, but uh, there have been instances where there was a black character that I auditioned for, or a black sounding character. Yeah, uh, and the casting call called for an African American performer, and they ended up giving it to a white person that had limited experience. Uh, and this was a puppet role, and right. they gave it to uh, a, a white person that uh, didn't know anything about puppetry, and uh, that was that. So. Whoa. Um, but uh, also, uh, recently, when I've been putting out my impression videos, uh, people say, oh, that's a double standard. You can't, you can't do those white Simpson characters. And I'm like, I'm not applying for those roles. I'm just doing funny voices that I've been doing for years now. Calm <laughs> yeah. down, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so it's, it's time to give, give us some of those voices. Give me five of your best. Okay, five of my best. Uh, Let's see here. Well, there's Mr. Burns. Oh, this reminds me of that time I crippled that Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and of course, there's uh, Mr. Smithers here. Uh, uh, Mr. Burns says, this interview uh, sanctioned. And uh, let's see here. Who else can I... Oh, I'm the why. Um, there's Professor Frank here. I went to in the interview here. I'm the why. And uh, who else can I do? Uh, well, there's a Dr. Hibbert here. <laughs> well, I hope all you podcasters have good ears, because you're going to love to hear this voice. <laughs> and uh, let's see, that was four. Um, throw one out for me. I'll do one for you. Ooh. G- give me a Marge. Oh, Marge? Oh, you want to hear Marge? Uh, okay. Uh, do you like some cookies? Maybe some scones? You like scones? I don't know what they eat over there. <laughs> Classic. Brilliant. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's a it's an interesting career and I suppose like it's only in the past couple of years with podcasts and, and like Instagram and stuff taken off that it kind of makes it more accessible for new talent like like you to maybe get your voice heard um whereas in the past you know it was a demo or maybe you knew someone in the studio or you right know, contact. Yeah, or a tape that yeah. just sat on the shelf yeah yeah um so do, do you think that it, the internet and stuff has definitely helped you to kind of get to the next level or maybe to get you in front of the right people yeah um i can't imagine how this would have uh, worked if uh, this was, you know, 1995 and I was trying to do this. Um, yeah. uh, and uh, even back then there weren't a whole lot of mainstream black voice actors, uh, you know, it mm. uh, just was still mainly majorly white back then. So it's definitely uh, helped put me on the spot. Uh, I never would have guessed it. Uh, you know, two weeks ago I'd be on BBC news and I recently did uh, the Linda Steele show, a Canadian radio program, and I've okay. got three more uh, interviews scheduled this week. Nice, well done, well done. Thank you. Other cartoons, so like Family Guy would be popular enough in in Ireland and probably around the world as well. Um, can you give me some, give me some characters from Family Guy? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't uh, planning on doing Family Guy characters, but I can give you some. Uh... Okay, Laura, you know what really grinds my gears. <laughs> podcast i mean you got this guy sitting here in a chair uh, talking about stuff and he expects to get paid for it i mean i talk all the time on a bus and i don't get paid for it and uh hey peter giggity giggity all right uh hey peter you know you can't really be making fun of my legs like that (laughs) and uh oh that's nasty (laughs) oh here's mayor west for you here who is this adam we ah i'm yelling louder than you so there's a few of (laughs) Oh, and uh, of course, there's uh, Brian Griffin. Oh, and Stewie Griffin. Yeah. <laughs> Buy my book. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, hey, okay. What would be your top tip for anybody starting out like in, in the creative industry? 
whether voiceovers or acting kind of um, traditional you know um uh for voiceover uh, if you're looking specifically for that angle uh, just you know find a list of maybe 10 different voices you can do mm. and uh, uh throw in some variations and create characters with those and put together a reel um maybe a minute or two minutes or so and um uh, apply wherever you can uh, there's uh sites uh voice123 is one of them backstage.com uh all casting and i don't know what uh, programs they have there in uh mm. in ireland and the uk but uh, mm. there's plenty of casting sites out there for you just in terms of challenges, Jaden, like, I mean, to, to go against the grain or to go off on your own kind of career path, it's, it takes balls or guts, I suppose. Um, <laughs> how do you, like, how do you deal with the challenges of uncertainty and finding that next gig? Uh, I mean, I try to stay optimistic, though I may sound a little pessimistic on the line, but, um, uh, you know, I, I've never really been in a position where I've wanted to give up full stop. Uh, mm-hmm. I think a lot of the time it takes patience and uh, just reaching out and um, having a good support system is certainly helpful. Uh, not a whole lot of people have that. So, you know, surround yourself with people that can give you good constructive feedback so you can better yourself as an artist and uh, also to share your work with. And uh, eventually you'll grow as a person and as a performer. Um, for me personally, I've. Uh, uh tried to keep positive and i i do voices almost every day that's why i talk in this sort of mellow voice because that's my resting voice but um so you're, you know you're asleep now. And, yeah, i sound <laughs> asleep you know I, I tell people i'm a i tell people i'm 21 but i'm a 51 year old man trapped in a 21 year old body <laughs> yeah uh, so what's what's next for what's next for you Jaden? what's what's on the horizon well uh, I don't know. Um, you know, uh, my hope is that things work out with The Simpsons. Uh, you know, uh, I'm hoping to get spotted. But if that doesn't work out, then I'd be happy to uh, uh, take up any other role that I can get, providing my voice. Um, I believe I'm doing a, a Justice League uh, uh, table read through Zoom next week. I think that's going to be a live thing. Oh, nice. Um, and. Uh, got some uh, some of my own projects i've got my own youtube channel called the sneeple that's s-n-e-o-p-l-e where i'll be uh, making okay. my own puppet stuff occasionally um I, uh, and um got a cartoon called hell of a boss coming out that i recorded for on uh, thursday so Ooh. that's gonna probably be out by the end of the year maybe early next year and you'll uh, see my characters there Nice, very good. Well, best of luck with everything and I really hope you, you get that break. How can people reach out to you then or show support or get in touch? Uh, well, my Instagram and Twitter is always available. Um, uh, it's just my name. You can just look that up, Jaden LeBron. Um, no special usernames or letters or anything in there. Um, they're not that hard to reach, but you know, don't blow up my line because I get tired easily. <laughs> yeah. Because got you're like asleep. Two hundred. Uh, uh, <laughs> got about two hundred friend requests on uh, Facebook in the past two weeks, and I feel yeah. bad because I can't accept them all. Yeah, yeah. Just since the since the BBC uh, feature was it? Uh, yeah, ju- no. Yeah. Uh, just since I started putting out my impression videos, it oh, was yeah. just racking up. And then Jeez. when BBC hit, it was like a hundred in a day. Yeah. And, you know, I just honestly can't keep. I mean, I feel bad for it because you know people would love to be friends with the the voice actor or whoever. But, yeah. um, you know, I don't know these people. I, <laughs> yeah. I want to, you know, I don't want them seeing. Who the are these people, Smithers? <laughs> Who are these people? Have them downsized. <laughs> yeah, certainly, sir. <laughs> yeah. I, I had to ground up their bones. <laughs> sir, it's just Facebook. Facebook, eh? Who is this Mark Zuckerberg? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, take your meds. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> that's brilliant! Um, I'd love to stay chatting. Any final, final word of advice or final uh, line that you'd like to get in before we wrap it up? Uh, let's see here. Uh, can you repeat the thing you said about the things? <laughs> uh, the things. Do. <laughs> How's that? Oh, oh my gosh! Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Now, I'll sign off as Kent Brockman here. Yeah, uh, you're listening to the uh, the Irish Bootsteppers here.
This is Kent Brockman from uh, uh, Channel 6 News. Thank you. <laughs> Jaden LeBron, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. I really hope you go far in the voiceover and puppet, uh, puppet industry. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been a great laugh having a, a chat with you and best of luck with everything that you do. Thanks for coming on the Thank show. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. No problem at all. Thanks, Jaden. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. If you did enjoy today's episode, please leave a review or rating wherever you listen to your podcasts, whether it's Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, Stitcher, or any of the other podcast places. Most places you can leave a review or rating, so I'd really appreciate that, or share it on your social media or with your friends. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter as well, and for any of the outdoor and kind of activity stuff, I'm on Strava as well, so Irish Bootstrapper on all of those handles. And remember, become the journey.